I am Tom and you are watching me play XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Today we're going to sabotage the transmitter. It's going to be a difficult mission. We've got psionic storms, so there's going to be a bunch of psi enemies, but we've also got the lost, which means there's going to be a reduced advent presence. So I think we're going to have psi enemies, but just not many of them. It depends how psionic storm works. If it adds psi enemies on top of your normal ones, then we won't, but I'm pretty sure the way it works is it replaces units with psi units. Anyway, this is kind of what we've got the, the B team going on. The only one we've got is uh, Wraith. And Xeno. Actually, Wraith and Xeno are the only two that we've got from our, like, good group of team members. So we'll have to see how this goes. My hope is well. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. We've been picking up unusual readings coming yeah, from back. this area. And our recon team has confirmed that Advent is now operating some sort of massive psionic transmitter nearby. Shen and Tygen agree. If we destroy the transmitter while it's still connected to its network, their operations across this entire region will be crippled. <sighs> Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. The target is locked. Objective in range. So sectoids apparently count as psionic enemies. I guess that makes sense. I think these guys will technically fight if I just leave them. So I will. Um, I think we go up here. Sorry about that cut, I'm back. Um, what was I doing? Not much. Are we gonna move with this guy, maybe? Mm. Maybe. I think further forward scouting might be a good idea. There's another group there, okay. Three priests. So they will attack each other. So that's something at least, I suppose. <laughs> Melee vulnerability. Five damage, that's not bad. Hmm. It's interesting. I think I actually run up here though. I will go. Keep scouting. No place for you to go now. So now I've seen both of them, they should fight. True scout here. Astounding to me that I can get so far without, with still being concealed. 
I mean, it's useful, don't get me wrong. I like being able to just straight up. Make it up here. Uh, here, I guess. So I might be able to ignore them completely, and then they'll just kill each other. That sounds good to me. Assuming it works. So they're going to get hit by the Lost again. Presumably. Yeah, at least once. Probably all three will get a hit, I think. Apparently not. <clears throat> I take it all back. Um, okay, so the thing is here. I'm at your the time for hiding is over. They have a patrol. There's the objective. Okay. Good to know. I go where you tell me. Still on four turns, so I'm like not really worried about it, in all honesty. But I think I can pretty safely leave these guys and keep going. Which is the thing. Yep. Got it. Moving. Los, los, los. Having a couple of stealth missions back to back here. I realized I just wasn't talking for a while there. My mic was muted. I don't know how exactly. I think I must have hit the button by accident when I when I moved my hand past it. Luckily, I noticed it before it was an entire episode with my mic muted. Okay. Well. I can just, like, freely keep moving up. There is no railing here, which kind of sucks. But I can move okay. up to here at the very least. Got it. I can move all of these guys straight up here into... It's in half cover, but I'm still concealed. I have three turns, which, honestly, is probably enough. That brute will do significant damage, I think. Assume he actually hits the right priest. Like, they have dumb AI, to be fair. Six damage. Significant. Did both of those... I think the other sectoid died as well. Yeah, okay, both sectoids are dead. Sectoids. 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 Sectoids are dead. Arguably worth it. Draw more lost, but... Any advantage. That's only a 
41, it's not really worth it. Um, you're the only one that can see, right? I've got an axe throw here. 74%. I think I opened with an axe throw, amazingly. These guys are all triggered, so they weren't gonna move. Sweet. I think I kill this guy because I'm in cover if I do that. Apparently this doesn't set me on fire. Uh, if I go here it sets me on fire, but this running through this tile doesn't. So I think this shouldn't trigger this group, but I think this is still better because it gives me cover from them, whereas the other way it doesn't. Somewhat irrelevant, I don't really care about the brute. There is nowhere to hide. There's currently a lot of enemies on the screen, it's worth noting. Look at all these health bars. <laughs> Can I get to No. The only one I can get to is here. What if I run in here? Yeah, I think this is good. Ugh. I wish you could have an option where it didn't cycle through relays straight away. Another shot, so I'll take this one. I don't think this loss can reach me. I think I'm actually safe here. Take that shot. Pretty safe shot, in all honesty. Um. This would involve standing in the open, but I think it might be the correct decision. Because I think that should be a pretty good shot with the bolt caster. 91, yeah, that's what I thought. And it's a kill. It's... Cover here. Kill some lost if I can. Yeah, 74. But it'll be a kill if it hits. Cool. I don't think any of them can reach me. I think this is probably the better shot. Yep. Let's move already. Now with this mag rifle I should be able to kill a bunch of lost. Nope, stop scrolling through that bullshit, I don't care. Uh six to eight, that's guaranteed. You can't handle me. 87, take that. You want some more? And another 87, take that as well. How many is and that? Next. Could use some ammo over here. 
Uh, you're not going to reach me, so take the 44, I think. Alternatively, stasis him. Nothing gets through. Because now he can't do anything. The lost are going to just run at me, but not going to be able to get to me. Pretty clean, I think. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. It's fine. Finally. I can get there. Now I should kill a bunch of dudes. The X4 Couldn't be simple. Active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Um, Eliminate any remaining hostiles sure. before they cut it off. May as well take these shots while I have them. I think I take the one on the brute next, though. Yeah. Missed, but I got the the shot there. Adjusting sights. Ninety-eight and zero percent for the real. I really need to go into the mod configuration and change this so they're vertical. Actually, I noticed that on uh, Chris Alt's playthrough, he's got this vertical rather than horizontal. Hmm. I will be in position. Forty percent crew of crit. I'll take it. Didn't get it, but whatever. If I'm revealed now, it really makes no difference to me. Now we fight in the open. Um, I think I kill... This guy's pretty close, but first things first, let's take a shot here. Take this shot, please. Alright, so he's got two damage left. Seventy percent, not bad. And I've got the uh, stock, so what's it matter? And since I have the stock, it means I can kill this guy one hundred percent. But first, do I have anyone else? Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna get the loot. Finally. Much stuff. I didn't really pay attention to what, but I know there was a bunch of stuff. Take the shot. Doesn't matter if you miss, still get the kill. I think that was a miss. Yep. Sweet! And that was flawless too, cool. Wish from shows, then it appears. 17 alien always. Sweet. Not bad. Once again, I'll cut this loading screen out, because they're getting significant at this point. Alright, and we're back. Those load, are, load times are taking like a good 30 seconds now. Not everyone, occasionally we get a quicker one, but for the most part, pretty slow. Um, Fortress is kind of too good here. Take Fortress. Um, sounds pretty good. And you take Shredder. Because it's great. Alright, so it goes what? A scope, advanced focus, superior speed. I don't know where that's going. Seven supplies, a bunch of other stuff, Another impressive and an engineer. Effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. That engineer can go straight to excavating, I think. Um, actually. 
What does this push us down to? Only by a day. So we'll go in here. Um, right. So let's empty these out. Oh, I probably shouldn't mention this on the air, but... Whew, I got a serious crush developing for that mysterious commander running things over at XCOM. And I'm not sure if we're talking about a man or a woman here, but still. Have you seen what's been going on? Just today, he or she kicked the hell out of some advent goons like it was just another day at the park. Oh, 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 whoa. <laughs> right, it seems me and Resistance are going to get on at some point. Get it on. Uh, alien alloys, no. What was I? I was doing supplies. Avenger That's right. Plotting new course. Two and bond level up. Blue screens now available. All right. MP grenades, blue screen rounds, cool. Um, I need supplies to do pretty much anything I want to do. I think I'll go. Make a spark, maybe? How much does a normal spark? 100 supplies, 20 aliens, uh, 2 alarm cores, whereas this. 6 advent mech wrecks. Do these things take advent mechs? They do. So, first things first, let's see how many. Uh, 10 advent mechs. So, it'll leave me 4. Arguable. Arguable. I do want to get a spark because I need to try out this mod that has the new uh, spark stuff. So I will. I'll salvage a wrecked mech. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. And then experimental ammo after that because that only takes an Illyrium core, and I have seven Illyrium cores, or like nine Illyrium cores or something. Um. All right. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Superior speed. Sweet. All right. I wouldn't mind getting some increased experience on some of these guys. But at the same time, alien loot is kind of too generic for me. Although it gives aim. This gives plus hacking. Can I send Keenan on it though? If I can't send Keenan, it's not happening. Keenan. I can send Keenan on it. Alright. Needs to be a lieutenant that goes with him. I'll send Zeno because I want these guys to actually bond. And I want to get rid of captured, so I'll just send. Um, Chen Yuan. You can go too. So there's a low chance of being wounded, and that raises our influence with the Reapers. So let's do that. Take seven days. Covert is our specialty. Should be done before the end of the month, because the end of the month is in what? Nine days. Let's finish this. Finally. And then we want to make contact here. Uh, 40 intel, that's fine. Keenan is back, good. Alright. So I could do a power relay here. But I think I'm going to actually save this for the Shadow Chamber. Because I think I can actually get away with just having one power. As crazy as that sounds. I'm going to put one more guy in here. Speed this up so it's 10 days or 8 days, whatever it will be now. Uh, I don't need to worry about resistance comms yet. Hmm. It's 3 days, right? Yep. 
I can do this for three days. Um, so I've got an unstarted engineer. I think what I do is upgrade my power relay. Power relay upgraded. And put an engineer in here. So we're now sitting on 40 power, right? So that's 10 power I've got to work with. The shadow chamber is going to be free and I've got two rooms left. I'm thinking I might actually build a laboratory in one and build the turret defense in another one. Two things that I never ever build. Because other than that, I think I've got all the buildings. Aside from us getting this I'm only going to need two resistance comms. Mostly Dr. Shen's work. I haven't felt particularly useful in a long time. Mm, it's that interesting. The hard decisions to the commander. Definitely interesting. It looks like I'm going to have everyone in, like, tip-top shape. Yeah, looks like it. Everyone's going to be in, like, perfect shape by the time I'm actually finished here. Uh, do I have any negative traits? Nope. By the time I get to my next mission, everyone's going to be fine. So I can probably take an A-team, and depending if it's an easy mission, I'll both take an A-team, I'll take, like, a B-team. Uh, retaliation. There will be no escape. No mercy for those who would defy my gods. Alright, so we're in Warlock territory. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. You're still tired for five hours. I can get away with this, actually. Look, if I do this... Avenger plotting new course. Marker, this should pass five hours, and I think she'll be healed. Or no longer tired, more accurately. Although it doesn't look like it, she's not here. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. Two we hours, okay. Um, Annoyingly, the bond training wasn't done either. When does this expire? Three hours. No, it expires in 17 hours. Um, Serve as their gracious champion for the gods 1 PM. Of many children, I don't think she's back yet. Our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. I hope she's ready. Cool. Um, but I want her in this slot. By the way, the reason I put her in this slot all the time is because this slot determines who your first person is on the, uh, like, tabbing through. So I always want to move her first because she's my scout, so I want her in that slot. Just saves a tiny bit of time. Honestly, not that useful, but... Skirmisher, you're coming. Templar, you're coming. It's a very difficult mission, so I should take my good guys. I may not do the skull jacking on this mission. It's a distinct possibility. Do you have... Nah, you're only a sergeant, so you don't have three medkits yet, which kind of sucks. Hmm. Do I have anyone with solace? Do you have solace? No. Their suffering 
push escape too many times. But they have spurned the Elder's office of hmm. peace for the last time. Not having solace could be a problem, so I think mind shields are gonna be gonna have to be used. You can actually take a med kit. Because he's unlikely to see you. Or less likely to see you in any case. I think honestly I need. Let me take a frost bomb. Don't have enough supplies. I'll see if I can. I've got a Reaper, so I might be able to work around. Um, take Bolt Caster, why not? I might be able to work around not having a. Uh, Mind shields, because I can just avoid him and scout him out with my Reaper and then shoot him with my other guys. But, it's going to be difficult. What have we got currently? Advanced stock, good. Air trigger, good. Advanced repeater is pretty good. Stock, yeah. I think the one you've got is currently better. You got an advanced hair trigger. Honestly, I think I actually go here and get some money because a, a very difficult mission could be indeed actually very difficult. So I'm going to sell some stuff. Give me what, 80, 90 something? Uh, what? 92? Be 95. Should give me 100 supplies. If they would choose defiance, then I, I will force, force their, their obedience. Right. So now I should be able to get a couple of things. Gauss rifle. I'm not taking a grenadier, so I don't give a shit about this. I'm taking the arc axes, so I don't care about that. This is definitely a potential. This is definitely a potential. In fact, I'm just going to get this, because I need it. I'm going to grab the enhanced Shadow Keeper as well. So. This one is sighted in. There's no excuse for missed shots. Indeed. So he's now got the enhanced shadow keeper, he's got the sniper rifle with an advanced hair trigger. What's the other one? Take extended mag, it's more useful. Um Med kit, smoke grenade. Frag grenade, mine shield. So I'm happy to run you into the warlock if he shows up, which I think you probably will if it's a very difficult mission. Alright, that's what we're gonna go with next time. I've been Tom, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.